Hello everyone. Welcome back in this RQM session. So today we will look into how to create the test artifact templates or how to design the test artifact templates. So first, as we have logged it into the QM. So let's log in into the QM admin page. Okay. So once you reach at the uh, RQM or a test management project area, just click on or browse the test artifact uh, project area. So currently I'm using the, uh, the existing one that is a JKA banking. Click on explore project. So what is mean of now the managing the test template, test artifact templates. So for example, as we are having the test plan, test cases, test script, test suit, test data and keywords as a test artifact, you know, test management tool. So, for example, if you are creating the test plan or any artifact, test case, test suit, if you want to do uh, this template, so in this template, whatever the structures are there, right? So, here you can see summary categories and the sections are there on the right hand side, right? So, if you want to manage those by default, whenever you are creating any test, artifact that time it should be fixed so that setting if you want to do you need a test artifacts template okay so uh, whenever you are creating it you can see this is the default option and whenever you want to uh, check it out then you can here for this test plan these many templates are default by default with presence here right so for if you're selecting a web application security test plan template so these many options will come you can use as is but for example if you want to create your own sections you don't want to uh, reuse the existing one and you want to create your custom section in this so to do that what you have to do you have to come here in the setting tab. There is one option manage artifact templates. You have to click on that manage artifact template. So in this template, you can see the multiple options are there, right? So in this test plan, whatever the options you have seen, this will, you can see here. If I filter it out, only the test plan artifact, you can see these many options are there. Okay. So, uh, I, I don't want to use this uh, custom uh, existing one test plan template. If you want to create it, here is the option. Click on this option. Click on create test plan template. So, currently I am uh, referring the test plan artifact. So, going forward, if you want to do the same thing for the test case, test suit, keyword or a test script template, we can do it so. Okay. So it could be like uh, now I am uh, selecting the create test plan template. Give the name to the template. Currently I am giving demo test plan template by Shweta. So you can name it as per your project area. So for example, in any of the uh, customer, for one customer, if you want to design one specific, uh, uh, you can say template for the test artifact. So you can name those template as per the project area. So you can uh, give the ID of it. And here you can see the, these are the default one test cases and summary it will be a by default uh, you can say selection and these are the available section so these are the optional things that you can select so for example I want to select the attachment from this existing one then I will select quality objective from here then formal review I want the formal review as well I need a test data as well and uh, now I, I will just uh, select uh, this from the available section and I, I want to create my own section so to create it uh, what I will do I will create click on a new section and I will create as a demo section by Shweta so I'm just name, naming it as like this section type if you want to select a grid that is a table 
then reach text editor like this or a grid like this column one column two or something okay so uh, for now i'm one is creating with the grid and new one another one i'm creating with this okay reach text okay so one will select with the reach text so one demo section by shweta so let's rename it with the demo one so it will be your readable now summary test case attachment you can uh, arrange these sections as well so for example summary i need in a first test cases that's fine an attachment i want to move at the uh, bottom so see, select that option and here you can see down so click on this down arrow until it's uh, finalize the position so for example if you i want the demo one as upper one so click on up select the demo one and click on up click on ok button now so here you can see demo test plan template by shweta which one is created newly right now the here you can see the default templates we can't modify okay so if whatever the custom templates i have created so i can modify it but here you can see another option is the default so what a default means so default means if suppose whatever the test artifact i have created i want to create it as a default so here creating using this template in this name currently i have a demo test plan template or a uh, for example basic test plan template which is the basic by default option is there so i want this newly created template as a default option so to do that here you have to click on this option click on this triangle click on the set as a new default option so here you can see yes option will come so by it means whenever you are creating any test plan that is create a test plan here you will get the template which we have created or which we have customized and whatever the template structures are there or sections that we have defined here you can see the demo 2 is the reach text editor demo 1 is the column 1 column 1 2 and 3 this is the table grid by structure okay so here you can name it as demo test plan click on save so in this way you can create the test plan with the defined test artifacts that we have created in the template so uh, same same you can apply for the test case test suit and keyboard so you can define your own test case uh, test templates of, or a test artifact for a template so here you can just group it like for example if you want to group it for the keyboard test script there are, these are the test cases template and these are the test plan templates okay so click on the next you will get it more list fine so now if i want to uh, create a copy of the existing one so for now consider test case okay and uh, i i want to make a copy template so existing one i need it because in the default one i can't do anything so what i will do copy the existing one so that all the sections will be there i will i will just remove unwanted other so custom I, i'm just giving the custom as a name you can give the as the requested name i'm just keeping as is i will just add the extra section here and click on ok so here you can see test case template i am making it as a default and currently make it as for the test case we'll just check what is the default one so see uh, here for the test case artifact default test case template is a default one right here creating default template using default test case so in this scenario for example in uh, if you want to create the test artifact via importing or uh, via excel using excel you want to create the test artifact 
so in that case what happen it will uh, consider the uh, default template only so that's the uh, need where you need to select the default template okay so i i want to create this test case template as a default one so what i will do i will come here i will set it as a new default so here default value is coming then just refresh it you will see the new template here default test case template custom and these are the options or sections which i have added test case one click on see okay so in this way we can design the test case templates or test artifact templates so in the next uh, lecture we will see how to create the custom attributes in the rkm thank you so much